sometimes the water gets away from you and you try and catch as much as you can. And I just work the water up through to the ends of my hair. And I take my no rinse shampoo and squirt it also on the scalp, just a little bit, and rub it in. Again, kind of working it out to the ends. And sometimes I'll actually take my comb to help work it all the way to the ends. And I like to take my towel while I have the shampoo in there and just kind of work it. Because without standing under running water, you kind of need to use the towel a little bit to help get some of the dirt out. I like to follow that by a little more water. It's called no rinse shampoo, but I think it's best if you use a little water with it. It actually feels kind of squeaky clean right now. now I'll take the dry part of my towel. We use towels for quite a while here since we have limited supplies. We use them wisely. There, I think that's pretty good. And now as my hair dries, as the water evaporates from my hair, uh, it will uh, become humidity in the air and then our air conditioning system will collect uh, that into condensate and it won't be long and our water processing system will turn that into drinking water. At the end, I just do one final comb through to make sure there are no snarls and snags. And while it dries, I like to, like to uh, let it stay, stay free. I don't put it back in a ponytail while it's drying. And that is how I wash my hair in space on the International Space Station.